Hi everyone, welcome to Stamping Gala and my weekly uh, um, Wednesday broadcast. Um, today I'm working with the Rain Boots Bundle, which is a stamp set right here, the Flowering Rain Boots. Um, and it has some coordinating dies that go along with it that are really, really cute. I hope you like these. And then I'm adding in a couple of other um, dies and one of the cards, I'm using the Amazing Thanks dies which I think you'll like as well. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, let me show you the cards we're making today. They're both fun folds. The first one is an easel card. So you can see there, I'll teach you how to make that. And as you can see right here with the um, thanks, that's from those dies I just showed you. The colors I'm using today are Coastal Cabana, um, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, and Magenta Madness. And I have a little bit of, um, mango melody on this part right there so here's the second card and this is also a fun fold card and then finally i have a box here a gift box and i have something really cute in here that i'll show you in a little bit so i want to welcome all of you and if you're new um for the first time watching me please let us know so we can give you a warm welcome and um, if you have any questions, just type them in there. And I'll, I, if I don't see them during the presentation, I'll be sure to get to them afterwards. So anyway, I hope you like these projects today. But I do want to show you something real quick. Um, I did announce my online bingo, which is going to be held on Zoom. And it is um, March 18th. It is, you have to register by the 28th of February. So just a little bit longer to register. It includes um, a really cute stamp set. It's the Mischievous Mice that is in the back of the catalog for hostesses only. It's adorable. I don't have it in front of me right here, but let me see if I have it handy. Nope, I don't. But anyway, I can show it to you at the end. So if you're interested in signing up for bingo, I will be giving away six bundles. So um, it is only $50. And um, anyway, We'll play, we'll do three make and takes with the stamp set. And um, anyway, um, and you'll have a chance to win six different bundles. Okay, so there you have it. That's what I'm working with. Um, Andy, it should be at, keep going all the way around to the end. It, right, it's called Mystique. Okay, she's grabbing me my um, stamp set so I can show you. Thank you. So this is the stamp set. Isn't that adorable? Now, if you already have this, you can let me know and I will get you um, a different stamp set. Okay, up to $21 in value. All right, so that's that. You want to make sure you sign up for that. I did um, sell out of my cruise kits. I will be posting the... Um, the PDF on my PDF store for those of you that are interested. I will show you the projects. Um, let me show them to you right now real quickly, and then um, we'll get on with our um, projects today. Okay, so this one is done with the flowing flowers. So it's a cute little box here that opens up, and it fits all of these cards in there. So this was one card. They're really pretty in person. And it was done with a sponging technique. Okay, so that was one set. Um, I did use the flowering rain boots. So here's one. Here's a second card. A third card. And then this is a seed packet that opens up on the side here and you put um, flowering seeds in there. So that's another set. Um, let me see. This one's really cute. Um, I used the ladybug set for this one. I just love this set. Here you go. And then here's a cute little box. We also have, let me see, this set here. Um, this is the artfully layered. And I love these little stones here. They're called faux sea glass and this beautiful little box. Okay. And finally, this one is made with the, the friendly hello set that's free in celebration. 
So there's one card. Here's the second card. Here's the third card and a box. And this one got kind of smashed in my suitcase. So anyway, these are all the projects and I will have the PDF for sale. Um, I think I can get it on there tomorrow for you. Okay, so back to the projects we're going to make. So um, I do need to grab some um, scratch paper. Hold on one second. It's been a crazy, crazy day here. So anyway, all right, that's good enough. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with this one first. And remember to um, make sure that you share this video if you like it. And also, so you'll be in the drawing for next week. I don't do a drawing every week, but um, I will be doing a bundle drawing uh, for anybody that shares this video. Okay, so here we go let me get this stuff out of the way so i don't mess it up and we'll get started okay and like i said this is an easel card so i just think this is so cute i hope you guys like it all right i'll show you how to put this together okay so this is um 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at two and three quarters and five and a half. All right, so what you're going to do it is fold it in half like normal, and then you're going to fold this back. And this creates the easel. So see what I mean? It's like that. All right, then you're going to take a piece of cardstock that is um, five and a half by four and a quarter, and it's going to get placed right here. Don't do it like this because then it'll never fit in the envelope. You have to do it just like that. All right, so we're going to put glue right here. So I'm missing a lot of comments. So we're going to just put this together. So see, it'll, it'll go into a regular envelope, okay? So then I have this paper, and this is so cute. This is from the free um, celebration pack with a $50 order. You can select this. And by the way, celebration is almost over. So if you have some favorite items that you want, now is the time to get them, as well as um, Stampin' Up let us know that the annual catalog is coming. So on March 28th, um, things are going to go on the retired list. So that means all of the in-color products from two years ago will be retiring. And they go quickly. So that means any paper, cardstock, ink, um, markers, anything like that embellishments you got to get them because they will go fast and a lot of people like to get the re-inkers too um so that those are the ones that are let me see magenta madness which i'm using today cinnamon cider um just jade misty moonlight and i don't know what the other one is off the top of my head but um anyway you want to make sure you get those because they will go fast. All right, so we're going to put these on, this on here. And this will be your card base, okay? All right, see what I mean? So there you go. And then on the inside, we're going to go ahead and do the inside now. So just two this basic white. One is um, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths, and the other one is five by three and three quarters. Yes, they are super cheery. I needed that today. So. 
anyway. So this is going to go right on the inside of the card. All right. I switched over to glue a couple of months ago, a few months ago, and I just, I like it better. It's so easy for me. Okay. All right. Now, um, we have to have something that makes, holds this up. So what I do is I'm going to take a piece of DSP, which coordinates with that. In fact, the back is the same design, but we're going to put, um, the polka dot side up. So we're going to put the glue on this side. And we're going to adhere it to a piece of Coastal Cabana. Now ladies, don't forget if you want these make and takes, all you need to do is place your order by Saturday. And it has to be a minimum $35 order before um, shipping and tax. And I'll send you these make and takes. Hey, Becky. Remember, ladies, if you're here for the first time, please let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. And please make sure you share this video with your friends and on Facebook and um, Pinterest and things like that. It helps me to continue doing what I'm doing. Okay, helps me to reach a bigger audience. So we're going to go ahead and put this even with the top piece, okay? And then I have these two dies, die pieces. Let me show you. They're from the Amazing Thanks. So this die will be the background piece, which is that one. And then the thanks is the like the um, handwriting, okay? And there's Amazing and You in here as well in R as well. So you can do a lot of different sayings with it. So I do want to poke out these little pieces here. Those won't, those are not needed. Okay. And then this as well. And I'm just going to adhere this, the two of them together with a little bit of glue. Don't overdo it because you don't want it oozing out the, uh, the sides. Okay. Just little dots, enough to hold it in a few places. So again, um, celebration is ending um, in a few days on the 28th. So if you have thought about joining Stampin' Up, now is the time to do it because you get two extra stamp sets of your choice and it's a good way to add to your starter kit. It's a, you know, something like a value of 70 or $75 extra in your kit of your choice. So I would love to have you on my team. If you think you have some questions or want to hear more about it, you can always contact me and I will call you or email you, whatever you prefer to answer those questions. Okay, so see how it gives it a nice background? Um, the bingo, Maureen, is the 18th of March. So we're going to take a couple of, um, I'm going to cut some of these apart and put this on. And we'll have a cute little stand here. This looks so cute. Okay, so that'll be good. And just take the backing off. And we're going to stick it down right here. So I think it looks adorable with this polka dot behind it as well. Okay, so now we're going to do some stamping. So let me get my paper here and this. And we're going to stamp some boots and some greenery, some um, 
uh, stems and some flowers. So the boots I'm doing, the rain boots I'm doing in Coastal Cabana, I wanted them a little bit lighter. All right, and then we're gonna do the stems and Granny Apple Green. I just love Granny Apple Green. It's a fun, fun color. Okay, and then finally, we're gonna do the Tulips and Magenta Madness, and this is one of the in colors. It doesn't look like I'm out of focus over here, Linda. Look how pretty those colors are together. Okay, so then what we're going to do is this is going to be die cut, and we have the boots here. We have the greenery here, and then the, the tulips there. So what I did was I cut them out ahead of time so we don't have to wait. And then we're going to put them on a backing, okay? So I did die cut this piece. And then um, I have a piece of Magenta Madness, and I also embossed a piece of Basic White. So we're going to put these together. Um, it's the 18th of, of March, not, to, not the 28th, but you have to um, register by the 28th of February. Okay. All right, so we have that. And then this is going to put, be put on dimensionals. The Finley crop is October, I believe, 7th, 8th, and 9th, or whatever that weekend is. 7th, 8th, and 9th, or 8th, 9th, and 10th. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I do have a lot of people that want to come that have already mentioned it that haven't been there before. So it will sell out quickly. So I will be putting that information up hopefully this weekend. Okay, so we got that. So this is going to be glued down right there. Now, when you're putting the glue on here, when you're using this dye, you got to be careful not to overdo it because these tiny little perforations, the uh, glue ooze through it. I know from experience. <laughs> so be careful with that. Okay. All right. So now we have the boots that are die cut. So I'm going to put those down. And that is going to be with dimensionals. And I'm not putting them all the way to the top because I want to slide in some leaves, okay, or the stems. Okay, so this is going to go right here, and it's going to come off a little bit off of the page here off of the cardstock and then we're going to just glue these down right in here just slide them in and then i have the tulips die cut already and we're going to pop those up on dimensionals
Okay, so this is going to go right here. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we have crinkle ribbon and also a magenta marker. This is one of the markers that will be discontinued. And we're just going to color this ribbon with the marker. Okay, you can color this any any color you want if you have the marker. They have to be done with these stamp and blend markers, the alcohol based markers. And the good thing about it is when you do um, color them, it seems to make the ribbon, um, it gives it a different texture that almost stiffens it. So it, the bows are even easier to make and they come out really pretty. And don't use your tip. See how I'm using the side of the marker? You want to do that so you don't um, ruin the tip of your marker. Okay, that should be good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make a bow with this. So we're going to just do it with my fingers. Oops. Okay, so we're going to cut this off. Oops, I got a dimensional on my scissors. What's the craziest place you found a dimensional? The top of dimensional. I found one in the shower once. <laughs> it must have been in my hair or something. Okay, so we're going to put this on your card and this card will be done. I just have to grab my glue dots here. Okay, and we're going to put this right here. So there is your first project. Okay, what do you think? Do you like um, easel cards and fun fold cards? A lot of people do. So these boots are a little bit lighter, but they're still so cute. And I hope you like these. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one. Let's see, where is it? Right here. Okay, so this is the next card we're making. I just love this one. And this is a fun fold as well. Okay, so let me show you how we're gonna do this one. Okay, so this is four and a quarter by nine and a half, and it's scored at five and a half. So we're going to score this on the fold line, okay? And then we're going to do, we'll do the inside last. All right, then we have a piece of basic white that is, let me see, three and three quarters by four. And then we have a piece of the DSP, which is three and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Okay. We're going to put these two together. You guys are too nice. <laughs> All right, and we're going to put this together on the card base. On the front flap, okay? Right here. Just like that. Okay, so then we're going to put this together just like we did the other one. Okay. So we're going to glue these two together.
who's anxious to see the new catalog. I cannot wait because I do so many cards every week that um, I'm ready for a new catalog when it comes out. All right. And speaking of catalogs, if you're a customer of mine and have purchased in the last six months, um, I will automatically send you a catalog. Okay. All right. So then this is going to go on right here with dimensionals, but you only want to put the dimensionals behind this portion. Make sure you don't put some on that side. With the new catalog, also I will be doing um, the In Color Club and Ribbon and Paper Shares. So keep your eyes peeled for that too. It's a great way to get your products at a, you know, a little bit at the time so you're not breaking the bank. Okay. Okay, so this is going to go on here. And how the um, In Color Club works is um, there's five In Colors. And so every month you will get a different In Color, the whole collection. Um, and then after five months you'll have it all. Okay, so let me do some stamping again. Okay, so we're going to stamp the flower pot. We're going to do two of those in Coastal Cabana. Because I want two of them lighter. And then I want one of them darker. So I want the Bermuda Bay. Okay. And then we're going to take, let's see, the Melon Mambo. No, not Melon, Mango Melody, sorry. And this is a little dark, so I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on, okay? And then finally, let me see, we're going to do another one of the tulips. What colors are you hoping for in the new in colors? I'm curious. So we're going to cut all of these out, okay? So I have them cut out already. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to take the, the Bermuda Bay one, and this is going to go down right here, okay? I want some fun, bright colors, I think. What do you guys think? Okay, and then I have the um, stems here. We're going to glue that on. And have it coming out of the pot like that. Okay. The tulips, we're going to put those up with... Um, dimensionals some good greens like what um like what kind of green are you thinking i wish they had some like a i used to love pink pirouette that was so pretty. Oh, look, you said a pink. I didn't even see that before I said that. Okay, so that's going there. Then we're going to take one of the lighter um, flower pots, and this is going to go on a dimensional. And I'm going to put it right there. 
and then the um, the mango melody. I'm going to put a dimensional right there so I get it in the right place and put a little bit of glue here on the bottom. And I'm going to go like that. So the flowers are kind of coming over the um, flower pot. And finally, I'm going to have one kind of tipped over right there, and that's just going to be glued down. Oh no, not MSU green. I was going to say that, but <laughs> I didn't. Okay. All right. So, so far, so good. And then we're going to stamp um, Thinking of You. And this is out of the special moment set. This is a free item in the um, celebration, and it's for a $100 order. So, but I've used this quite a bit during the last couple of months. I love this set. I'm going to be sorry when it goes. Okay, so um, this one I'm going to do in, you know, Bermuda Bay. Okay, and where is it? Thinking of, oh, right in front of me. And what we're going to do is die cut it, and it's die cut with the um, Tasteful Labels dies, which I did already. So this is going to go right here, and I'm just going to glue that down. I know, I, I love pink pirouette. It was my favorite. Perfect for little baby cards, too. Okay, so there we go. Now this time, instead of coloring the ribbon, I, um, this is Magenta Madness. It's no longer available, but to save time, I'm just going to put this ribbon on. Because you already saw how we color the ribbon. Okay. All right, so this is going to go on right here. So let me get another glue dot, and then we'll do the inside of this card. Okay, what do you think? Do you like it? I think it's cute. Okay. So let me get this, and we're going to stamp the little um, flower pot. And I'm going to do that in Coastal Cabana right here. And let me see. I did stamp some of these earlier and I'm just going to glue that on right there. Okay. Right, we'll put these two together. Oops. And the second project will be done already. I think we're doing pretty good on time today. It helps when things are die cut ahead of time. It was a great catalog for sure, Linda. Okay, so this is going to go in right here. Okay, so here is your second project. I think this is so cute. What do you guys think? Which card do you like better, the first or the second one? 
I just like them because they're so cheerful. Okay, and finally, this is the last project. And what this is, let me close some of these up because I don't need them anymore. They're going to use, because I can just see my um, projects going right in this. Okay, we're going to use, you know what, I'm going to close them off. Okay. So what I have in here, I think is just so cute. Um, it is a little um, Daisy Grow Kit. I thought it was appropriate for this project. And um, you just plant it. It was only a dollar at Target in the dollar bin. They have these and other things. So I just thought it was adorable and a perfect little gift to, for a hostess. So we're gonna go ahead and, and start this. And this is a 12 by 12 piece of basic white. And I scored it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter on all sides. Now we're blurry and I don't know why. So we're going to fold on all score lines. Is it blurry for for you? <laughs> You're funny, Maureen. I don't know what happened. And I don't know if I refresh if something will um, if it will kick me off. Okay, so I have it all folded. I don't know why that's doing that. I apologize. Um, I'm going to try and refresh. And if for some reason it doesn't come back on, I will, I will be back, okay? Let me see. No, it's, I don't know. No, that's not, it's not it. Let me see if I refresh. That's a little better. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Yeah, it's good now. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. And what we're going to do is cut out the three corners here on all sides. Okay, so... This bigger piece is hard to work with on the, with the camera. Okay, so you see how three squares were cut out. This one and these two, okay, on each corner. Then the one that is left, you're going to angle it and, and what we call tab it. Okay, we're going to do that on all sides. Okay. 
So yesterday, you ladies probably saw that I um, huh, I posted the cruise projects. It was a bad picture. I couldn't get it all in the um, camera. But anyway, so I sold them. Then I realized I oversold. So now I have to cut more. And I forgot about two people that um, weren't on the cruise and they still haven't sent the shipping and I completely forgot so I had to, I have to recut the whole cruise kit so a couple of people that missed out on it I told them that they could um, if they still wanted it I could cut theirs while I was cutting the other ones it's no big deal so it was kind of crazy Okay, one last corner. And the reason I'm using white is because this box is so big. Um, the project um, requires a 12 by 12. And so I had to use a 12 by 12 white because as you know, we don't have the 12 by, we do but you only get two in each pack, and I don't want to do that. Okay, so it looks like this, okay? All right, so now we're going to put them together. So this tab, we're going to go ahead and put blue on it. And it's going to be folded in here. Same thing here. This is going to be folded in this way. Bring it up to the corner. Okay. So these two will be folded in as well. Okay, so so far it looks like that. So now what I'm going to do is trim off a little bit on each of these sides so that the, the um, we're going to be folding these in and so they don't hang up on the sides. Okay. Oops. I'm right handed so this side is kind of weird to do. And nobody will see this on the inside. Okay, so hopefully these will fold in really well. They do. Oh, Laura, I already showed it. You must have not been watching. I'll show you again. Okay. It is a little cute little seed, um, a daisy grow kit from Target. Let me see if this will fold in. See how this side is, um, it's catching a little bit. So I don't want it to buckle the, the box. And then just take your bone folder and kind of burnish it. And the last side is good. Okay, so there you go. There is the bottom of the box. Okay, 
for Laura's sake, I'm going to show you this again. It's a little Daisy Grow Kit from Target, and they're only a dollar, and it has a seed packet in there, and I'm sure the directions are on there and how to, to um, plant it. Okay, so then we're going to do basically the same thing for the top, but this is Bermuda Bay, and it's scored at one and an eighth and two and a quarter on all sides. Okay. So I did something crazy and I almost forgot. Um, I love Kroger um, Clickless, especially when it's cold outside. And I did that today, and the pickup is between eight and nine. So. I don't know what time it is right now, but let me see. Oh, I'm doing good. Um, so after this, I have to run to Kroger and pick up my groceries. All right, so we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other one and just cut out the three corners. And this one's a little bit easier because it is smaller, easier to handle. So ladies, don't forget... Um, the orders are due by Saturday. Oh, and by the way, um, the Create a la carte, they're going out tomorrow. And I do have some extra kits. If anybody is interested, let me know. I can show you the kits after, after I do the projects here. But they're cute. They're Easter projects. And they're $42. It includes shipping. It has five, um, five projects, a whole pack of designer series paper, that $15 one, a half a bolt of ribbon, and a little bit of embellishments. It includes shipping, and it's a great deal for $42. Um, eight and a quart, I mean, eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth. And it's scored at two and an eighth. I mean, excuse me. Let me start all over. Eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth. And it's scored at one and an eighth and two and a quarter on all sides. Okay, so here we go. This is easier to see. So we're going to do the same thing with the tabs here. Now fold it up next to the tab, the long tab next to it. Same thing here. When's the Kentucky Derby? I know that's a big thing for you guys down there. A lot of people also will put a clothespin on here to hold it so they can keep going. So let me see how the, oh, that one folds in perfectly. So we're going to take this, fold that in, take my bone folder, and just help it out a little bit. That one folds in. Usually two of them fold in great, but when you put the other two in with all that paper coming together in the corners, it kind of holds it, hangs it up a little bit. I'll have to check that out. What are you doing, Laura? Okay. 
Does anybody want to see the Create a la Carte cards projects that I have available? Let me know if you do. If you do, I'll show them. If not, I won't. They are so cute. They're going out tomorrow. A day early. How do you like that? I'm usually not a day early. Okay, so this is going to go on just like that. See? Perfect fit. Okay, so then we have these two pieces, and this is three and an eighth by three and an eighth, and then this DSP is three by three. And to subscribe to um, Create a la Carte, it's only $42 a month, and you can cancel whenever you want. And it's billed through PayPal. So if you're interested, you want to hop over to my blog to um, stampinggala.com. At the top, there is a, a tab called Create a la Carte. You can check it out there. But if you want, it, you, you can subscribe there as well. But if you want this one that I'm going to show you, it's already closed. I just have some extra kits. I always cut a little bit extra just in case. So, so there's that. And then we have, I die cut this, and this is from the Hippo and Friends. I love that little set. And this is just going to be glued on here. Just like that. And then I have a two and a quarter inch circle. And we're going to put that up with dimensionals. Those polka dots are so cute. It'll take me a second to grab the, the free a la carte cards. They're across the room. I've been working on cleaning up my craft room, and it's been paying off. Okay, and then I don't think I need to show you how to stamp this and die cut it. So this is going to be glued on. And then the um, tulips are on with dimensionals. Okay. I hope you like these projects tonight. They're pretty fun, I think. I love the bright colors. Okay, so we're going to tie a bow. Um, and again, I'm just going to use this ribbon. And tie it around. It's so cute. And this box is a good size. It's three and a half by three and a half by two. Um, so it will fit a lot of nice things in there. This is perfect for Mother's Day, too, to put a little gift in there for your mom or grandmother or godmother, what have you, or somebody that's been a mother to you. <laughs> Okay, oops. So there is the final project. I hope you like it. What do you think? And then we have these two. And then the, the easel cards. Okay, so anyway, let me... Let me grab those Easter projects and I'll be right back.
Okay, to get these, all you have to do is place an order by Saturday, and I'll send these make and takes to you. I think my make and takes are really a good deal because they're three really good projects all the time. Okay, so here are the, um, this is the Create a la carte this month. So cute, cute, cute little bunny card. A second bunny card. We have this little chick. You get a full pack of this DSP. And you also get some of these um, iridescent um, rhinestones. Not a whole pack, but you also are getting a half a bolt of this ribbon and you're getting some of this ribbon. And then um, the 3D item is so cute. This is a little basket, kind of, it'll hold um, some little Easter candy. So um, if you want one, send me a private message. And um, they're $42 and it includes shipping. And I only have a limited supply because um, I only cut um, a few extra. And the cruise kits sold out immediately. I had to tell so many people. I don't have them anymore. So anyway, if you want them, please um, please send me a private message. Um, the DSP is called um, Abstract Beauty. Okay? So there you have it, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this today. Don't forget, if you're interested in the bingo, the bingo is on Zoom, and it is on um, March 18th at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Um, you'll get this dance set and we um, can send bingo cards in the mail. We're playing six games of bingo. So um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you and taking the time to spend your Wednesday evenings with me. Um, I couldn't do it without you. Anyway, thanks so much, and you have a great night. Bye-bye.